All right, we're back to uh, go ahead and do the reassembly video for this LG Optimus F3. So you see we have our glass that's adhered to the frame and our mid-frame here. So one thing that I uh, want to do is go ahead and put the home button back in. And you can see that it fits in on a particular fashion, so make sure that you're putting the two little cutouts on top of the two little posts on the mid-frame. We're going to go ahead and insert the LCD. Go ahead and put the cable back in through the mid frame here. Make sure the cable goes all the way through onto the back. Make sure it sits nice and flush within the mid frame as well. Go ahead and clean it. Um, I use just a dry microfiber cloth to clean off any fingerprints that may have gotten uh, attached to it. Uh, also, I have a dust blower. Uh, you can use compressed air or if you have uh, anything else that would work to help you de uh, kind of remove the dust from a screen. Uh, circular motions work best when trying to remove fingerprints, I find. I'm a little bit meticulous when it comes to this. Um, we put in a lot of effort this far to make sure that the phone. Uh, has a nice new uh, glass front on it, so put a little extra time into making sure your LCD has no fingerprints or dust on it. All right, now that we have that completed, we're gonna go ahead and put in our little white tiles into the uh, frame of the device as well. You can really only put them in one direction uh, as they have a little cutout on them. All right. Now, before we put this back together, we need to put our charge port back on for our home button, our back and our menu button. Now if you need to, you can put a little adhesive behind it. Uh, normally there's enough on it that'll just re-stick itself down. And if you bend the cable into the back portion again, normally it'll stick down pretty well. You can see that uh, I put some more fingerprints on it, so you may wait to clean the LCD until after you've put in the charge port cable in. Let's get it nice and clean. Now with that done, we can go ahead and take our display here in our frame. I'm gonna go ahead and clip them together. Now remember, you need to put the headphone jack and little post in the top upper right hand corner. And it kind of swings together. Once that happens, you can go ahead and kind of snap the little clips down the side back onto the mid frame of the device. Make sure that the display cable uh, for the glass comes all the way through as well. Go ahead and put our little screw down here in the bottom back in. Try to make sure we get it to adhere to the frame as much as possible here. You may have to wiggle it just a little bit. Make sure it sits down nice and flush. Check the home button, make sure that it functions properly. And 
I'm going to go ahead and push down the LCD display cable back onto the mid-frame. We need to put in our earpiece speaker. Prongs face to the left if you're looking at the back of the phone. We're making pretty good progress at this point. Just trying to make sure I depress that cable so when I go ahead and put the logic board back in, the connections will line up. So that is our next step. We're going to go ahead and insert this onto the device. Making sure the ribbon cable at the top goes through. Make sure there's no ribbon cables underneath it that are caught. Just kind of press down and make sure everything's in its correct place. Go ahead and put our cable on for the bottom charge port area. Reroute our cable through the side here. Now you do want to make sure this is in nice and good. You don't want it to be popping out when you're clipping the back on and get it pinched. You could lose a I'm not sure if this is a, either the Wi-Fi or the cell antenna, so you want to be careful with it. Now I'm looking to reconnect this. Make sure you just line it up properly and give it firm pressure. You don't have to press it down. These are fairly easy to break. It doesn't want to stick in, so I'm going to have to wiggle it around here just for a few more seconds. We'll actually do that in just a second. Let's go ahead and reconnect our touch screen onto the mid-frame. Put in our rear-facing camera and reconnect it to the logic board as well. It's going to make sure that this will stay down. Then we can go ahead and put in our cables again. Now like I was saying, this can be a little bit tricky. So try to make sure you have some patience with them when you're trying to reconnect them. Doesn't seem like it wants to snap into place very easily. You may want to finagle it a little bit more until you get the correct snap on it. If I hold it kind of upwards, I can see it kind of line up to the correct spot. Then it'll snap in place. Just pushing it into its little guide rail down the side of the phone so it doesn't get snagged or bent when I put the back onto it. Do the same thing for this side. Seems like once it's connected, it may be a little bit easier to push into the guide rails. Go ahead and put our buttons back in its correct place.
it does have a little, couple little prongs on it that you may have to use a tool to kind of press in as you reinsert it. Don't bend these prongs too much. They do need to make contact with the board for this button to work correctly. Now you could put this button in before you put in the logic board. Uh, either way, if you just use a nylon spudger and kind of press it inwards, we'll go ahead and do the same trick as putting it in beforehand. Make sure our volume button is lined up correctly. Go ahead and put our black back plate back on. Go ahead and just work your way around and snap it back into its correct spot. Let me put our battery in. We're just going to go ahead and make sure the phone powers on here real quick before we go ahead and put all the screws in the back. Fantastic, which it does. So that loads up. We're going to go ahead and put the screws into the rear frame here. Now these don't have to be extremely tight. Let's get them snug. few more to go. Alright, so you can see the touch screen is functioning properly, which is great news for us. Next step is to go ahead and put the back onto the device. Start at the top and push it over the headphone jack and just run our fingers down the side and get it to snap back into place. There you have it, a brand new display on this device. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw them down in the comments. I'll do my best to go ahead and answer those when I have a few moments. If you found the video useful, useful, go ahead and hit the like button. I always appreciate that. If you want to see any future videos on phones, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I try to put it a couple a month. Always, I appreciate you watching the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.